Today I'm going to show you how to use a pivot table in Excel to analyze and better understand your AdWords data. In particular, we're going to be looking at some ad text, same ad text but across multiple campaigns, and you'll see how a pivot table will make it much easier to look at that information in aggregate. So we're going to create a new report in the AdWords interface, selecting Ad Performance Report Type, and I only want last month's data. And make sure that the columns that you want uh, the information to appear are checked. And in particular, I want to see conversion information. We're going to click Create Report. Wait for the report to generate. Once the report's finished generating, we're going to click the report and export it to Excel. I've created a sample report similar to what you might get from AdWords. It's for a fictitious campaign. Make sure that you remove the top rows just before the column heading and the last row with the totals. Basically, I just want to look at the ad text and headlines across multiple campaigns. It's the same ad text, but across multiple campaigns. We'll do that with the pivot table. Go to Data menu, Pivot table, Next. Just use the default options, finish. We'll have a new worksheet with a new blank pivot table. I'm first going to grab the headline of our ad text. So we're using the same ad copy across these different campaigns, which are geo-targeted to US, Canada, and Australia. I've just added the cost data into the values column. And now I can start sorting and seeing which headlines cost the most. This is just to give you an example. The important stuff is creating a calculated field. So we're going to go to Pivot Table and Formulas. OK, so we first have to select the headline, Formulas, Calculated Field, and I want to create a formula for conversion rate. So I'm going to enter the name, formula. I'm going to select the existing fields and create the calculation that way. Start with the conversions, slash for the division sign, and clicks. So conversions by clicks for our conversion rate. And you're going to have to do a little bit of formatting. Right click on the data area, select field settings, Number, we're going to switch number to a percentage, and I'm only going to have one decimal place. doesn't need to be so exact. Hit OK, and we should see our percentages. I'm going to sort by, so these are percentages. These are our conversion rates. I'm sorting by the ones with the highest conversion rates, and you can see that discount squirt guns, discount action figures, those have some of the highest conversion rates. Now I'm selecting the ad group field, and I'm adding that before the headline, so I can actually see where these belong, what ad group the headlines belong in. Campaign, really not as important for what I want to do right now, but just to show you how the pivot table aggregates in different ways the information. So we have our Australia, Canada, US campaigns, all the same ad text, just across different campaigns. I'll remove campaign, slide that out. I'll take a look at the description lines to see how those performed. So we can get an idea of the entire ad text. I'll move the description line two before everything else so that stuff will get the, we'll get the conversion rate just for those description lines, and I'm going to get rid of these other data fields. So it's just as easy as dragging and dropping the different data fields that you want. So we can see for the action figures ad group across all campaigns that the perfect gift for your child performed the best in terms of conversion rate. Let's get rid of ad group, and we can only look at, we only have basically two unique description line twos for the entire account, and I can see that the perfect gift for your child, that performed better than free shipping 
and satisfaction guarantee. So the idea behind this, this sample ad text was the perfect gift for your child would be obviously for parents looking to buy a gift for their child. So with this information, we might want to create ads perhaps more targeted towards that demographic parents buying gifts for their children as opposed to the free shipping, which as we can see from here, didn't convert as highly. So it gives you some information that can be valuable in revising your ad text. You can use pivot tables also to look and see the performance of the same keywords, but across multiple campaigns, or for example, destination URLs, which landing pages or URLs perform the best.